So in October 2024, I took a few days off work and decided to hike around the Jersey coastal path. The journey took me four days with two nights in a hotel and one wild camp on the north of the island. Here's what happened on the fourth and final day of my adventure. Well, good morning from back at Greve Delec. Um, today is my fourth and final day on the Jersey Coastal Path. Uh, last night, I was kind of forced to head back to St. Helier for the night uh, due to pretty horrific conditions, really. There was no way I was going to wild camp. Um, and so I stayed at a hotel called De La Tang, just right by the seafront. Uh, so this morning I got up as early as possible, had a nice big breakfast, and got the bus back to where I left off at Greve de Lec. So today my goal is pretty clear, really. I've got to get myself to Jersey Airport. I've got to head round the northwesterly point of the island. I've got a flight booked at 6 p.m. so I've kind of got to be there by about four. Um, so I've got quite a distance to cover still so let's get cracking. All right, well, I am now back on the west coast of the island. Uh, I just cooked myself a delicious potato and carrot and noodle soup using the last of my gas. Uh, I had it in an incredible spot just overlooking St. Owens Bay, which is just down there. So it is now about half one and I'm just making my way down to the bay down past a place called Latac uh, and then I've got about two and a half hours to make it back to the airport uh, for my flight at six but oh my goodness it is just spectacular here
All right, well, welcome back to Jersey Airport. I've done it. I have closed the loop. I've completed the Jersey Coastal Path. I am absolutely pooped, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, around 88 kilometers in four days. It's been a real challenge. I'm gonna go and catch my flight now. It's in a couple of hours. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this series, please do let me know by commenting below or hitting that subscribe button. I'd like to continue making more travel adventure videos like this, so it really does go a long way in helping to support the channel.